supporters. And uh, we don't have any time for that. So we got this game going. And oh my god, we have Mr. Concon Elegant versus Easy Houston. The Luigi brothers, man. And I remember there used to be a lot of, a lot of talk about these two brothers right here. Uh, for a while, people didn't think that they liked each other because they played the same character in the same region. And they were kind of uh, rivals. Yeah, competing for, for the one. Yeah. Oh, but, dang. Ooh, Con Con starting off hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Luigi, a very destructive character. Um, we actually saw Elegant in his last match, like, totally destroy with that down throw combo into the upbeat. So we're definitely going to see both of these Luigi players setting up for that. But in doubles, it's a whole different dynamic. That's you right. Know, you know, that can, can get, get interrupted. You can get all the Twitter combos you want, but if your opponent's partner is there to interrupt, then uh, Twitter combos don't exactly matter. Yeah, Easy losing his first off fairly early, and there goes Houston. And right now, I mean, Easy and Houston just making it this far is kind of crazy, man. I mean, this is a very stacked double tournament, and right. uh, a lot of people were sleeping on this team. And Easy and Houston definitely coming out, showing out the, what they got. I mean, just with everything that's been happening. <laughs> Woo -hoo, Mr. So many, Con -con. So many so, upbeat kills, man. Somebody put a. Somebody definitely lighted the fire in him. Yeah, like, dang, man. So, like, I'm just hearing, like, bing, bing. No, like, I, I want to try, try and talk about easy and, you know, a little bit, but Mr. Con -con is definitely a, a hog of the spotlight. Oh, yeah. So, right now, man, right, right now, Con, -Con just still holding on to all three of his stocks right now, really doing a great job stock taking. And I feel like. You know, they both play the same character, but that's the role that Kong Kong plays in the team. You know, Elegant loves to go in, likes to rack up that damage and get the kills, but Kong Kong is just that solid tank. Oh, oh now Elegant getting a sweet spot up B of his own, but unfortunately that one's not going to kill for him. But like you were saying, yes, Kong Kong is just naturally a more defensive player, so for these two to team, it just kind of, they just synergize. There's no jump on Elegant here, and that's yeah, going to be it. D -D. Yeah. D -D. And I, I feel like in that situation, if you're Elegant, you might want to just, like, you know, go down and die so you can um, come back and help your team. But Konkon, man, we talked about Elegant getting all the kills, but right now Konkon is just racking up all these stocks on his side. I mean, it's really hard to, to say Elegant's getting all the kills when all the flash is going to Konkon. Oh, yeah, for sure. But both these players are doing a great job of boxing out blue team. Houston um, doing a good job of staying on stage, but easy, continuing to get knocked off over and over and over. Usually we see Rob being the, the stock tank because he's typically the heavier character on the team. Yeah. But as you can see, Easy leading on his last stock. Yeah, it's a double-edged sword. I feel like with heavy characters, you can either just, you know, it's it's a it's a hit or miss kind of thing. You're either going to stock tank ridiculously because you have that weight, That's or right. you're just going to die so early because you are big, you are heavy. Yes. You're getting comboed, juggled left and right, and you're just taking all these hits. You're such a big target when there's four players on the map. Mm -hmm. But, whenever, but when you are Rob, you have like all those big hitboxes, especially with the Nair and the laser beam. <laughs> but oh, did you just push the princess off the stage? Dude, it, it's so funny that Dash that kills. Oh my. Elegant, please. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's just taunting on the side of the stage. Oh, he took a little bit of fire though. Elegant's such a goon, I love it. <laughs> Going for the misfire, of course. Elegant just having fun. He's gonna lose his stock for it though. Wait a wait a minute. Oh, oh. Wait a minute. Is the Goonery going to be the reason they lose, potentially? I mean, nah. Okay. <laughs> Serving up the princess. <laughs> and oh, on Luigi's fist bumping saying, you know, they, they don't exactly get to continue <laughs> playing their double sets because we are switching back and forth between singles and doubles. Yeah. But these two still have the momentum. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I just love that the win animation where Luigi's like does his dash tag and then he's like super tired. He's like, oh, well, give me a sec. <laughs> like that, <laughs> that one's so funny. There's so many cool victory animations in this game. It's so great. Oh, I love the victory animation, especially like with all the rose petals. Like, yeah. Or yeah. what are those? Like Sakurai petals? Yeah, the flower petals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it's so cool, man. There's like so many uh, added flair to this game. It's, it's very fun and entertaining to watch for sure. That's right. All right, so easy in Houston. This is a best of three. So we'll see if they can bring it back. Um, and, you know, Peach and Rob, definitely not characters that are necessarily, like, shunned upon or think that are bad. I mean, a lot of people think highly of Rob and Peach. That's right. Especially with all the new tech that's been coming out for Rob. Oh, uh, Lord. Like, I mean, you know you've seen the the gyro to Nair, gyro Nair into side B. Like, yeah, from BB Smash has actually made a video on, like, Two of the characters getting played right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. They did. Zero to death with Luigi and zero to death with uh, Rob. So definitely characters that have insanely huge setups at, that can lead to death for sure. Yes. But as you can see, uh, Elegant able to fight his way back to center stage. Oh, man. And right now, the Luigi's just controlling the center. Con Con and, uh, yeah, Con Con and Elegant just controlling the center. And Easy and Houston just have to fight their way back, try to get that center stage control. Such a big deal in doubles. 
It's almost interesting though because Ooh. by the time that they do get back on stage, oh, dang, he, he did it too able, low. Yeah, he did. He was able to get the stock, but it's just too low for him to be able to uh, recover from the lag. Yeah, maybe not so great of a drop zone Ooh. option, but wow, what a great gimp! I think he got gimped by Kong Kong. <laughs> dang, Kong. He got coin gimp. <laughs> oh, he got hit by the one coin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that that can be really tricky and hard to react to. You can usually act like instantly out of it, but you have to be essentially like knowing that you're going to get hit by it. Oh, wow! That, okay, that time it was easy. He actually just took the trade mm -hmm. uh, from the clash of the up B and the side B. Really smart stuff from easy. Yeah, you can and see easy. why they made it so far. Yeah, and it's crazy because there's so many moves that were like horrendously bad in Smash 4, and they made them like amazing in this game. Luigi dash attack kills now, and it's like a pretty good option, and it has way less like end lag. Rob side B was like a meme in Smash 4. Now it's like a good move. Like you confirm with it, you edge guard with it. Like, And what is going on here in game two? We're just seeing stocks melting. It was barely a minute 30 and three characters are already on their last stock. Yeah, this, this game what is, is going on. This game's crazy, man. <laughs> I mean, and like we, these characters are so conversion heavy. Like you look at all the characters on the screen, they all have insanely good combos. That's so true. when you put them together, you know, the damage output is just going to be crazy, and they're just edge guarding each other. They're going so ham, and Rob is flying all over the map right now. Yes, Rob is definitely doing his job as a stock tank, but getting stage spike right there, not uh, not getting the tech, uh, not doing his job at that moment. But what the up there into the parasol. Yeah. Unfortunately, he didn't get the last hit uh, for that very stylish kill. Yeah, and another thing, too, Ooh. that I think is generally pretty healthy for the game. Oh, dang, Easy was hunting, man. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was be burning the up and everything. If there was one character, if there's one player who can actually summon. Oh, the, see it. Oh, oh, he misses missed it. it. He missed <gasps> it. That was so big. That could have been Easy stock or at least a lot of damage. Now he's off stage here. Yeah. Easy trying to get that uh, trade with the up B with the side B as well. You can see both of the plumbers are just beelining for Houston. And oh, now no. only uh, Elegant is left on stage. Oh, there's the trap, but Easy is able to pick up the up smash. Not enough to take him out just yet, though. Still gets the box oh, out. And so then much Gyro thing. getting thrown out the Gyro. Gyro trap. Oh, he just waits it out. Very smart from Elegant the parry. Doesn't matter, though. Ooh, oh, and he ain't grabbing this, Princess. <laughs> you want to grab something? Grab this crown. Yes, yes. The crown. <laughs> not it. something you want to grab. It hits you Hold very hard. It. <laughs> yeah, Elegant got smacked <laughs> up in the face, dude. And that was actually crazy. He almost brought it back. He did so. almost bring it back. But Easy was very low percent. Yeah. He yeah. was out of the combo range for the down throw kill confirm. Uh, so it would have been a little bit more difficult for Elegant to get that kill. Um, because he was really like one, maybe two hits away from that. Yeah, and it's so crazy because you think about that game one, right? Yes. You you saw how dominant Con Con and oh, Elegant were, and the, the Plumbers were definitely right. In and there. then Easy and Houston, I feel like they bumped the pace up. The pacing of the game got really quick, and you you would think that Con Con and Elegant would really thrive in that kind of environment, yeah. but no. Easy and Houston just came in swinging, gun blazing right off the bat. Not even a minute and a half. People were on their last stocks. It was that last game was. <laughs> So fast paced. I mean, they definitely saw when they could take the trades. Uh, and even if it didn't go quite in their favor, they knew that in the long run, since they have Easy playing Rob, it was going to work in their favor. All right, so now back to game. I mean, this is the last game, game yeah, number three, game right? Game three. Yep. So we'll see how Easy and Houston do. Again, uh, a team that a lot of people slept on. And definitely after this tournament, probably going to get seated a lot higher for sure. Yes, especially after this tournament. But. Uh, Elegant was able to rack up a ton of damage onto Houston as we saw the, the down throw combos. Not able to take the stock, but still put Houston in a very dangerous spot. And now we see both of our blue team uh, just kind of hanging out on the right side of the stage. Dang, it, both of these Luigi players are covering so many options, and there goes the stock. And wow, <laughs> both of them rolling on the stage as well. With how big Rob was and the way the positioning of the two Luigi's, they were almost back to back. Yeah. So it doesn't matter where he was going. If they both pushed up B at the same time, uh, he was dead. Oh, yeah. And uh, Houston was also in disadvantage as well. He was off stage, so he yeah. couldn't really relieve that pressure. Luigi, Both the Luigi's had all the stage control. Yeah, they were definitely in control. But as you can see, they're trying to maintain their control, keep pushing Houston off stage. They changed the game plan around, focusing more on easy. It's just so funny to see Luigi use, use dash tag this much. <laughs> like, it's it's really cool though because I just like how interactive they made like the entire moveset for a lot of characters. Okay, so right now we got a, I mean, pretty much even right now. Houston is uh, bleeding here, 159 percent, but just you know using that peach to get that stock thing. The side B is gonna take it, and that was a swift punish off the grab too. So yeah. that was definitely confirmed. That was gonna kill, and with his partner being nowhere near, <laughs> wow, push her off Dude. the stage. Dash attack killing again. I don't know if that's ever gonna get old for me. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's just so funny. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, so right now, everyone here at two stocks apiece, man. I mean, just trading back and forth. You know, you get our stock tank, we get your stock tank, and now we're just battling for the center stage control. And oh, man, what all kinds of scrambles going off I right know. now. Back the road to Gyro, just everyone's off stage. <laughs> everyone was literally off stage for a second. Uh, but I like Easy's plan when it comes to to fighting Elegant and Concon. He's yeah. not even keeping Houston's uh, safety in mind. If Houston's in the way, that's Houston's fault. <laughs> <laughs> I got like these big hitboxes. The Get out of my way. He's throwing out laser. He's clipped his partner so many times, but at the same time, it's working because he's only hitting his partner once while he's hitting the other two at the oh. same time. Yeah, both so it's definitely a net game. Oh, yeah, for sure. And oh, Easy going for the side beat. All right, he's still able to make it back here. Yeah, and it, it can be really hard. There's a lot of mix-ups Rob has when he's recovering just because, you know, he can go into up he can go into his aerials. Oh, man, and like just like that, trade for trade, man. That's right, team kill coming out from ConCon as he pushed uh, Elegant off stage. Now we see both stocks about even again. Once yeah, we again, got they're shifting focus onto Easy. Yep, they, they he's know the big he's target. The, he's the big target. He's going to be the one that keeps them in the game. Yeah, getting damage on such a big target is not going to be that difficult. So targeting easy, especially at low percent. Look, he's already at 63. And yeah. Houston, go. What? Well, trading stocks once oh, again. Man. This game is so tight. Just a tug of war, man. Back and, and forth. Literally percent through even three seconds ago. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and the laser taking up the whole map. Houston knowing he has to hold up the shield. Okay. Oh, I thought he burned his jump there. <laughs> Not just yet, but we see Gyro in play for Team Luigi. Right now, Luigi's trying to make their way. They're just stuffed on the right side of the stage, but they're coming towards the center. Now almost getting all center stage control here. Houston stuck between both of them. And blue team to be able to <gasps> the connect. The stitches! This coming in clutch! We can see forward air. Into Ooh, the the oh, man. Okay, good DI on Concon. Can he survive this onslaught? Houston's only at 43%. It's going to be oh, you're lights dead. out. See ya. GG! That was such great doubles play from uh, Easy and Houston, man. And taking out one of SoCal's best teams, to be honest, That's the double right. Luigi. Now, th these guys have teamed with each other a lot in Smash 4, That's so right. they have the synergy. And like, <laughs> it, it's crazy because if... If Elegant or Concon learn anything else about Luigi, or you know, they, they discuss yeah. the character a lot with each other. They're really good friends, so they really learn off of each other a lot. Mm -hmm. So, man, that that Wait, I am very surprised. Gonna, what are they going to take away from that set? That's what I want to know. Yeah, true. What are they going to take away from this set? They they changed their game plan quite a few times. At one point, it was like switch focus to to Houston, switch yeah. focus back to Easy. They were doing a good job when they they were like able to just keep Houston off stage. And then just put the damage on easy, but as you can see, with like him being such a heavy character, I mean, a damage isn't enough. You got to take those stocks. Yep, you got to take the stocks. And oh man, it, it it was just so hard because those games that are just so so close, mm -hmm. it, it it's a little harder to get something out of it. Like if you get bodied, yeah. obviously it's like okay, like obviously there's like a lot of bad stuff. But yeah. well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, because I mean you got bodied, right? But <laughs> when it when it's so close, it's just a a mixed bag of both, mm -hmm. and you got to take it with a grain of salt. But because it was just that, especially that game three was so so close. Game three and was extremely close. Like the amount of times that they traded stocks and people were dying within a second of each yeah, other. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh god, it was so so close. And even even the way that the percents were racking up, it was still. But game two really showed the momentum shift for Houston and Easy, as they the stocks were just melting. You couldn't you couldn't even keep up with yeah. the amount of action that was happening on the screen. Yeah, there was not a lot of time to explain certain situations. <laughs> it was just go, go, go. <laughs> and.